This is the protocol that I would utilize to recover from benzodiazepine addiction and withdrawal. So many people are probably familiar with these benzodiazepine drugs, but if you're not familiar with these medications, essentially the main reasons why they are prescribed is to reduce anxiety, promote sleep, to help offset the stimulant properties of various drugs, nootropics, and other supplements. Also to reduce seizures, to reduce spastic disorders, and also agitation. Now, benzodiazepines are very effective to combat anxiety, and many people around the world are actually resorting to these benzodiazepines to treat social anxiety and just generalized anxiety disorder. Now, one thing I want to highlight here is that this video is absolutely not about getting you off these medications. This is something you'll need to discuss with your qualified healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle or routine. So the big question is, are benzodiazepines actually effective? Now, the answer to that is absolutely yes. These benzodiazepines are very effective to treat anxiety, to improve sleep. However, what we need to consider is the mechanism of action and whether or not they're actually safe for long-term use. Now, I've seen a range of studies demonstrating various dangerous side effects associated with long-term usage of these benzodiazepines. And specifically, one of the most, or well, the nastiest side effect is the addiction and withdrawal. Now, this is something that I'm trying to overcome with this particular stack that I've, that I've put together and developed. Um, and obviously, what I want to emphasize here is that this video is purely for informational purposes only. Um, it's just what I would personally use if I was suffering from... Um, an addiction to these sorts of medications. So the question is, how do we heal the damage and how do we overcome some of the changes that occur in the brain to resolve the withdrawal and the um, lingering anxiety that can follow after benzodiazepine usage? So step number one, we really want to be focusing on upregulating the GABA-A receptors. Number two, we want to enhance glutamate decarboxylase or glutamic acid decarboxylase, that GAD enzyme expression. We also want to provide precursor GABA substrate, and then we also want to reduce adrenaline and sympathetic overdrive. So here's my hypothetical benzodiazepine repair stack or repair protocol. And you can see here that I've utilized four key compounds. The first one is amoxipine. Number two, we have agmatine. And number three, we have taurine. And then finally, we have nigella sativa extract. Now you will be seeing links to purchase all of these different compounds in the video description down below. Um, there will also be a discount code if you want to utilize that um, as part of your supplement stack protocol. So clearly we can see four unique compounds and for the dosage on amoxipine, we're looking at about 125 milligrams, which is a standard dosage of amoxipine. With the agmatine, we're looking at about 1000 milligrams. With the taurine, we're looking at 3000 milligrams. And then the nigella sativa extract, we're looking at about 500 milligrams. So the question is, why amoxipine? Well, amoxipine is a very well-known drug in Russia. And one key mechanism of action with amoxipine is that it has the ability to modulate the receptor complexes of the brain membranes, such as the benzodiazepine receptor, receptor GABA receptor, acetylcholine receptor, um, by increasing their binding affinity. So basically what that means is that it enables your body's own GABA to bind, um, has a better binding capacity to these specific receptors, which means that you're going to be getting a stronger anxiolytic effect from your body's own endogenous GABA. So this is really crucial because this will not lead to any major withdrawal and is working on a pathway that is actually a much safer and sustainable pathway. The next compound, agmatine. Now, agmatine is heavily used in bodybuilding supplements, pre-workouts, and all sorts of supplements to promote pumps and uh, endurance in the gym. Now, this study here was titled, Inhibition of NMDA Receptors by Agmatine is followed by GABA to glutamate balance in benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome. So basically what they've highlighted in this particular study is that is that agmatine has been shown to reconfigure and rebalance the nervous system such that it favors a GABA, you know, GABA to glutamate ratio um, assisting with that benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome. So this is obviously a highly beneficial effect um, following usage of these benzodiazepines and agmatine has a range of other interesting effects in the brain such as sigma-1 um, activation. It also modulates the 5-HT2A receptor. It also modulates the nitric oxide system within the brain. 
Um, and it also can act on various other neuroprotective pathways. So agmatine is a very interesting compound that can be also considered as part of this benzodiazepine withdrawal uh, recovery stack. The next ingredient, taurine. Now, many of you probably know that I love taurine. You've heard me talk about it quite a lot on my podcast and various platforms. Um, we can see here, this study was titled taurine as a modulator of excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmission. And what the authors noted was, again, obviously this study was conducted in mice. However, based upon what many users say about taurine and and how they respond subjectively, I think this is pretty good data to utilize when trying to understand the mechanism of action by which our taurine actually works. So we can see the authors noted, in taurine fed mice, the expression level of glutamic acid decarboxylase, the enzyme responsible for, for GABA synthesis is elevated. Increased expression of GAD was accompanied by increased levels of GABA. Now, many people will probably say, oh, but uh, taurine is a GABA A agonist, which it also is similar to um, some other drugs on the market. However, the fact that it boosts this GAD enzyme makes it highly appealing and also highly beneficial for that recovery process. And then finally, we have Nigella sativa or black seed oil. Now, Nigella sativa has a very rich history. And in fact, many of my lecturers and professors back at university would always emphasize Nigella sativa when treating various immune disorders and also just improving overall health. However, this study here was really interesting. It was titled, Thymoquinone produced anti-anxiety-like effects in mice through modulation of GABA and nitric oxide levels. Now this thymoquinone is considered one of the chief or the active constituents found within black seed oil or nigella sativa. It has a range of other incredible um, benefits for the human body, including uh, immunomodulatory, anti-cancer, anti-tumor, uh, balancing the nervous system, uh, reducing oxidative stress, improving glutathione production. It's got a range of incredible benefits. Um, but this study here really caught my eye. The fact that thymoquinone found within black seed oil can modulate anxiety and reduce anxiety by interacting with the GABA and nitric oxide levels in the brain. So that pretty much wraps up the benzodiazepine, a hypothetical benzodiazepine withdrawal recovery stack. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please do share my videos around. It really does help with the YouTube algorithms. Um, and also do be sure to check out my new Limitless Energy program. You'll see that linked down below in the video description that goes through a range of different stacks and protocols and other biohacks to really optimize your energy motivation and performance across all domains in life. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.